Cue the music. So, a very requested feature is how to add custom sounds to the mod tools and to your mod fireworks. Um, so I just added that ability. And as you can see here in the change log in version 2021.11.3, there is added ability to include custom sounds via the game sound definition. So let's take a look at how that works and how you can use it. So first of all, let's go to my uh, samples project here, which will be your module project, and let's upgrade the package. Right now you can see this one is on 10.2, which is an old one. So let's start by upgrading that. So I click this documentation here. I go into the mod tools. I can use this little context index thing here and go to the install fireworks to fireworks mania mod tools. And then I right click on this one and copy link it us. Go back and go in here and add the git URL and put that in and add that. Sadly, that's the way you should update it. But in a not so far future, I will upgrade to a version of Unity. Um, that actually have this little uh, update button down here. So we don't have to do these steps every time, hopefully. But uh, let's see, that's out of my control. There's something Unity needs to add. So let's start out by upgrading this version here. I'll pause the, uh, the video while it's, uh, maybe it's already done. Okay, we'll stay here. So basically I can explain why we wait on this. Okay, <laughs> let's take a look. Um, so we upgraded to 11.3 and now we can start adding some um, custom sounds. But first of all, let's take a look at how, because I have an idea for this firecracker that I have in here. Um, so let's first listen to how it sounds in the game currently. So firecracker sample 01, it sounds like this. Maybe I should turn up the volume a little. Let's do it again. So that's the sound right now. Let's change that. So let's first add a little, you can basically do the structure how you want, but I'll just do it like this for now. Sounds, and then first we need a sound. I have recorded a little sound here, you can hear. Bang. Bang. So it's bang. very realistic, recorded like saying bang. So um, bang. that is the sound bang. I'm gonna use. So it's pretty clear that it's a new sound that is not actually in the game. So I'll drag it down here to my sounds folder. Bang. And here you can see some uh, information about it and you can hear it and that's all good. So how do we get that in? Because basically what we wanna do is that we wanna go into a firecracker prefab here and go to the explosion and then pick that new sound in here. But um, this little bang sound here is not in here right now. So what we have to do is we need to right click, create fireworks mania definitions, game sound definition. And then we will do a, we can call it laumania bang <laughs> sound. And as you can see up here, you can have audio variation clips. You have minimum and maximum distance and a volume. In this case, I'm just gonna drag this one up here because I only have this one sound and this will most likely be the what the majority of you. But as you can see here, there is a tooltip. If I hover over. Well, it was working before you saw it. Anyway, there is a tooltip here that will show up. There it is. Basically explaining what this is. And in this case, I'm just dragging in one here. here but to make sounds realistic in games, what you often would do is you would have variations. So you would have a, um, let's say you need the sound of a phone dropping to the ground. You would record that sound like five times and then you have five of the same sound, but it's different recordings and therefore variations of the same sound because none of them would be 100% the same. So if you really wanna go far with your, <laughs> with your mod uh, here, um, that is typically what you would do and that is how the game actually works. There is many uh, variations of the same sound. For instance, the, the pipe sound for this metallic pipe sound, there is like six variations of that sound. So it doesn't play the same all the time because that sounds weird uh, when you play the game. Anyway, I only have one sound here, so I'm only adding one. Minimum distance, as the tooltip will say when you hover over it, is how far... Um, the sound should stay at, you know, volume of 100%. So like if I say 10, so if you're 10, if the player is 10 meters from the from the sound, 
the sound will be kind of 100%. And if he's more than 100 meters away, he won't hear the sound. So the minimum distance is how far before the sound starts to be lowered. And the maximum distance is where how far it max can be heard from. So you have to, yeah, think about what your sound is and how it would work in real life, you could say. And volume is, of course, well, yeah, the volume. Um, let's turn it. I know this sound is a bit high and I actually think I need to go down to 0.2 or something like that. So I created the definition. I dragged in the bang sound and now I just need to go into my prefab explosion. And now I should see, I know this drop down is a little terrible, but uh, that's all I can do right now. Might look into fixing that at some point if possible. So you can see Laumania bang. Boom, nice name. Um, great, and then we can build our mod tools. Or not our mod tools, sorry, our mod. And once it's done. Um, can I say more while we wait on this? Hmm. Well, I could mention that make sure to only use sounds that you're actually allowed to use. Don't uh, steal sounds or whatever. Get permissions to use the sound. For instance, I got permission from a couple of YouTubers to use the sounds from their videos in in, in the game, um, like uh, Cory Pyrotechnics, for instance. Um, so if you ask nicely, many of these YouTubers will allow you to to use these sounds, I guess. Um, so we go in here, we go to, oh, it's in Danish. Maybe I should switch it so it's not too weird for too many of you. So we go in here, workshop, firecracker, and we pick up the firecracker sample 01. So let's have a look or a listen, actually. Bang. So, <laughs> whoa, very, very, very realistic. Let's try this. So will I put this sound in my mod? Hmm, maybe, but I will make another f uh, firecracker for this. You're here. Bang. 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 So, you get the idea. Bang. So this is actually how custom sounds work. And I think that's all I want to show for now. Um, very important thing, everything that, as I've said before, everything that needs to be in your mod needs to be in the folder. So the sounds, the sound file and the definition needs to be in there. Um, but uh, then you're good to go. So um, looking forward to see what you will do with custom sounds. Uh, by the way, these definitions or these sounds you add, they will work all the places where you pick from this um, drop down here that is part of my scripts, you could say. So. That means the impact sound, the explosion, and the particle sound thing. All these places you can use them. Um, I'm thinking I will add uh, some more components so you can do a little more custom stuff, like if you want something when it spawns maybe, or something like that. Um, but um, I'll see what I figure out. For now, at least, you can use it for the explosion sound and for the impact sounds. Yeah, and that's basically it. So um, happy coding and good luck with your mods. See you.